Okay, in behavior basically um, is exactly what it sounds like. What does the line do at the end? And usually there's going to be um, two things you have to think about. So the first one would be if I go to negative infinity on my x, or if I, and the second one would be if I go to positive infinity on my x. So don't let that confuse you. Essentially all this means is if you go to negative infinity on your x, you're going left. If you go to positive infinity on your x, you're going right. So what I mean by that, if you look at this first graph over here, this one, um, over here on your x-axis, this furthest left that you can go is negative infinity. The furthest right you can go is positive infinity. So that's what I'm referring to when I say left and right. Okay, let's just jump into a few examples. Um, so this first one, this is saying if I go left. So if I go left, I have this arrow that I'm referring to. It is going up. So my answer here would be that the end of this line goes up to positive infinity. Now on the contrary to that if I go right, so this arrow here, I'm going down to negative infinity. That's how you'll see most of them. They'll usually have two arrows generally opposite directions. It definitely can be the same direction and it doesn't always have to be infinity or negative infinity as your answer. So look at the second one for example. The second one, if I go left, so this arrow here, it is going down. So my answer for going left would be negative infinity. But now if I go right, so if I go right, this arrow here, it's going to level off. It doesn't have to go up to positive infinity. Um, it can definitely level off at an asymptote, for example. So this one, it is leveling off at zero because there's an asymptote at zero. All right, <clears throat> the third example, just looking at the graph, I can tell both of these arrows are going the same direction down. So if I go left, it's going down. If I go right, it's going down. So both of my answers here would be to negative infinity. Okay, and this last one, this is a rational function. So uh, generally rational functions are going to level off at the horizontal asymptote. So when I look at this one, I notice there's a horizontal asymptote at y equals 3. So if I go left, I'm leveling off at that asymptote. If I go right, I'm leveling off at that asymptote, so both of my answers here would be 3. Okay, one more thing you should know is that you don't always have to go all the way to negative infinity or positive infinity. Sometimes you can't. So, for example, look at this first example again. I redrew it. Um, these things, they're not always going to be negative infinity, positive infinity. Sometimes you can't. Sometimes you have an asymptote, like this one at x equals 2, that means that's the furthest left you can go. So if you were to put on your paper as x approaches negative infinity, that would be incorrect because you cannot approach negative infinity. You would have to write something along the lines of as x approaches 2. And you might even put 2 from the right side by putting a little plus, but you can probably just leave it as x approaches 2. Then you would answer, well, what's my line doing there? Well, it's going down, so negative infinity is my answer. And then for the, the other side, this arrow here, you can keep that at positive infinity as x goes to positive infinity because there's no asymptote or anything restricting it. So as x goes to positive infinity, so if I go right, this arrow is going up, so my answer would be positive infinity.